to Central America four years ago in Honduras. The Honduran Police Force Review was created with the aim of cleaning up law enforcement corruption. Now, since then, the review has revealed over 1,000 cases of criminal activity by police agents, but only three officers have lost their jobs. Our correspondent Gerardo Torres now explains. For years, the Honduran police force has been accused of corruption, human rights abuses, and criminal activities. In 2011, President Porfirio Lobo announced a cleanup process that he promised would change the institution. Police officers would have to pass four tests, a physical one, a toxicology test, an investigation into their property and other assets in comparison with their salary, and a lie detector test. We have carried out around 26,000 tests to evaluate the country's police officers. 16,000 have been applied to serving police officers and around 10,000 to applicants at the police academy. The Department for Investigation and Evaluation of Police Officers has sent 1,089 case files to the Attorney General's office for agents shown to have thanks to criminal activities. Of the 16,000 members of the police force evaluated, more than 12,000 have abused their authorities at some time, yet only three agents have been sacked. What cleanup processes are they talking about? Because we don't have any real results to show there have been improvements in respecting human rights in this country. On the contrary, the police and the military, which are in charge of security, continue to violate human rights. The security budget has increased 200% since the cleanup process began, but the fact remains that many agents abuse their positions, and the lack of any real action by the authorities only increases the insecurity felt by all the population. Gerardo Torres, Telesur, Central America.